Hey y'all, Carolina Tony here. And Debbie. We are in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. We just a little while ago we were over in Bessemer City. We've come probably what about five miles? I think so, not far. And we have stumbled on Kings Mountain, North Carolina. I've never been here before, but it looks like it's gonna be really interesting. And guess what? You get to come with us and we're gonna explore and just see what's here and why you would want to come. We'll get started right after this station. Identification. This mural has been on the side of this building since 2000. It is depicting the King's Mountain era from around 1780. Remember, there was a great battle at King's Mountain. In fact, it was the turning point of the Revolutionary War on the side of the Cherokee Grill. King's Mountain Depot from the 1925 era. You uh, will come to catch the train here and send freight off, but not anymore. Come here to buy art. This would have been the freight room of the old Kings Mountain Depot. It is now an art gallery and they have art for sale. And this would have been the area where you would come to purchase your tickets. Looks a lot different now, on the inside anyway. And Patriots Park. Let's see what's in here. It's a neat little quiet garden. This cupola top was originally located on top of the former city hall at 112 South Piedmont Avenue. Building housed city administration, the police department, fire department. During that time, the city hall was built. Buildings were not air conditioned. The cupola was placed on the top of the center of a building in order to remove the summer heat. And here is a photograph of what it actually looked like. And here it is now. At the beginning of World War II startled the nation and the town of Kings Mountain was forced into action. Citizens were afraid of an attack or an invasion. The Corp of Observers was created as a preventative measure to be part of the Air Defense Force to spot aircraft. The cupola was used as an observation point in this area until the mid-1950s during the Cold War. The call sign was Juliet Foxtrot 31 Black. Little places to eat. This is the 238 Cherokee Grill. Right next door is Crave Hot Dogs Barbecue and Beer. And Lord of Mercy, here comes a train through Kings Mountain. I believe the train bell was a false alarm. Here in Kings Mountain, Trackside Trader, collectibles furnishings. Let's uh, go inside and see what's here. Just 
there's a lot of cool stuff back here in the back room there's a a scale old school doctor scale and we came back in the back through a closed door and this is pretty cool I said this is where all the cool stuff is that big Santa Claus old gas stove and look this big O and little O part of old signage and this stuff hang, hanging up it's almost like you're in someone's attic there's some more right there that was a looks like a three-tier type shelf candelabra and of course in the antique store you can buy some clothing So if you are into antiquing, there's a lot of neat stuff here. The Joy Theater is now home to the Kings Mountain Little Theater, but it was originally opened on June the 1st. 1949 and they have some actually neon I bet this is beautiful at night and the cut out in the wall where the movie one poster would have been posted this is where you come to purchase your tickets check it out da 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 Beauty and the Bees. I don't know if anyone would recognize this. This is a portrait painting of the Kerosene Kid. Does anybody know who the Kerosene Kid is? It is a country singer-songwriter. Jimmy Wayne was born here in Kings Mountain. I'll tell you a little bit about Jimmy Wayne. He was born here in Kings Mountain on October 23rd, 1972. His early years were troubled, marked by his father abandoned him and his sister for long periods of homeless and poverty. He ultimately was able to graduate from high school and earn a degree in criminal justice. After four years of working as a correction officer, he moved to Nashville to pursue his musical interest. interest. There he worked as a songwriter. One of his first songs was Put Your Hand in Mine. Released by Tracy Bird in 1999, his debut single, Gray Stay. Stay Gone, inspired by his sister Patricia, was released in 2003. And then in 2009, he released Sarah Smile, named for the cover version of the Hall & Oates 1976 single of the same name, with backing vocals by the duo themselves. We had double tracks through the middle of Kings Mountain. right next to the track this old world war one cannon i believe pretty good view right down through here absolutely beautiful here are some buildings that are empty but it appears that they are being remodeled. Hey, another go sign. Let's see if we can make it out. There is a lot of writing on the side of that. I can't see it, can you? We specialize in sports shoes. Okay. There's a church, and this church doesn't look very old. But look at the one next to it. 
I'm gonna take an educated guess and say that was probably the original church and they just grew out of it and had to have something a little bigger. This is the Kings Mountain Baptist Church. Oh, and look behind it. A log cabin. Uh, Kings Mountain Police Department and the Central Methodist Church right across the street from the Kings Mountain Historical Museum. But they say they're open. The Kings Mountain Museum is inside the old post office. We're going to go inside and take a look. Here's something that's pretty interesting. Uh, these are green books. This was the Negro Motorist Green Book. Back in the early 1900s, black folks were not allowed to stay in a lot of hotels. So this green book was basically a book of hotels that were black owned or black friendly. The Negro Motorist Green Book, it would have a list of hotels, taverns, garages, nightclubs, restaurants, service stations, automotives, tourist homes, roadhouses, barber shops, and beauty parlors. And that is an original there. And I believe these are probably reproductions because they look like they're in pretty good, good condition. One of the mottos of the Green Book was, if you can't work there, you can't shop there. Many gas stations wouldn't hire or serve African Americans, but Esso Gas, which is now Exxon, they hired and served and let African Americans buy franchises. Esso Gas stations also sold the Green Book. They say even black celebrities and musicians who played for white people wasn't welcome in all hotels right behind the historical society is this log cabin it was actually moved to this location but it was built around 1810 pretty cool and a little garden here in the back and another house which is probably a little newer the george washington cornwell house built around Lots of little shops in uh, Kings Mountain. We have run up on several boutiques and antique stores. Understand there's more coming. And a few little restaurants, well, four or five anyway. Papa John's is one of them. cool mural on the side of this building. Merchant Mills. We're going to head out and see if we can find that place or where it used to be anyway. Well that is going to do it for our trip to Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Pretty neat little town, don't you think? I do think it is, and I think it's up and coming, and I think it's going to be a great little booming little town shortly. Yeah, there's more here than you would expect, so I highly encourage you to put it on your list if you want to check out some neat little restaurants and neat little shops. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. What were we going to say? Until next time. Y'all have a good day. That's right.